Today we're going to be talking about mattress cleaning. Jenna Dyko has had a lot of inquiries about mattress cleaning. I'm going to ask you to think about what sort of cleaning do you want to achieve. On this particular mattress here, it states on the care label, do not dry clean, do not hot water extract clean. Spot stains only. So we've got to think about that. Will we be taking a risk if we clean it? We can clean it with a vacuum. A vacuum is a good way of cleaning it. If you are going to clean it with a vacuum, make sure you've got a vacuum with a beta brush. It will remove a lot of the skin cells. It will remove a lot of the dust. Sometimes people talk a little bit too much about the residues that are left in a mattress. We should stop most residues by our sheet that we've got on and our mattress protector. So there shouldn't be too many in there, although it's a good idea for a dry vacuum. Also, we've got to think about urine stains. In this particular mattress, we've got a very bad urine stain here. Can we clean it? Yes, we can. Can we get rid of the stain? Probably not. We've also got to think if we are going to clean it and we are going to, to use hot water extraction, what are some of the problems that we may come across? On most mattresses, there's a lot of padding, a lot of foam rubber, there can be felt, there can be all sorts of things inside. If we wet that too much, what can happen? We can have mold growing. This is a mattress that we have cut open. As you can see, we've got the outer fabric here, then we have some foam rubber. Thin piece, about three mil, followed by a piece about 20 mil, and then underneath it we have this felt that appears to me to be made out of normal felt, which is recycled rags. And down here, we have the steel spring. So, all of that fabric, if we overwet it, and because it's got a cover on top and we don't extract it properly, that moisture is going to be stuck under there for some time. Now I have cut open mattresses in the past and found mould growing in there, rusty springs. So I want you to think about it. Should you wet that mattress or not? Are you better off doing just a dry vacuum on it? If you are going to use just a dry vacuum, Think about your machine. It needs to have a HEPA filter. It needs to have an agitating brush. One of these machines are very good. Portable machine. It's got an agitating brush there. HEPA filter. It's got a canister that you can see the soil you're getting out of it. Several types of these machines on the market. The last thing I'd like to mention is that there are also some forms of chemicals you can spray on to kill bacteria or at least control bacteria. There are antimicrobials and other products available on the market. There are all sorts of things you can do. So it's up to you to do some research, talk to other people, other people in the industry, and think about whether you want to do mattress cleaning or not.